Good afternoon, good afternoon Open Door Church and all those listening on the internet and on YouTube uh, to what is the last Friday Open Door Church devotional. We've been running these devotionals since March 2020 at the start of lockdown and uh, as a church we've got some major changes ahead and so we just want to recognize this is an end of a season and so this is the last one for me where we've got the last devotional we Monday with Graham uh, and uh and today I just want to like finish off Acts in in, the, 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 in one hit, really, in that we were up to Acts chapter 14. And how do I summarize the rest? And what does it mean for me? Well, well, firstly, Paul just kept pressing on. Paul always pressed on. He always went to the next town, preached the gospel, went into a synagogue, um, saw people saved, healed the sick, delivered pe- people from demons and then planted churches and so that's what we got to do keep pressing on keep pressing on and he pressed on in local areas he planted churches in local areas so in Ephesia, in Ephesus and Philippi and and so we too have to plant in local communities uh, those communities have different needs and we need to adapt the gospel to that so for instance Paul's presentation of the gospel in Mars Hill uh, in, in Athens is very different than it would be to the church in Galatia. So we also need to be doing God stuff in our towns, in our communities, in a way that promotes the gospel, in a way that serves that local community that is distinct to that community. So let's do that. So you think about the needs in our area, let's be serving them. We mustn't forget that the gospel is a challenge. It's a challenge to people to get right with God because of his son, Jesus Christ, who lived a perfect life, died on a cross because of God's great love. uh, They can know forgiveness for sin through him. uh, And that offends people. It will offend people more and more in our day and age. It was offensive in the first century. So let's uh, still be ready to give that gospel challenge uh, in our lives be ready to seek opportunities for that to give the reason for the hope that we have it was a holy spirit empowered mission paul didn't just preach the gospel that the kingdom of god is not just a matter of words but it's a power and so uh, the last section that we just looked at in acts 14 went on that they were so amazed by paul they thought he was a some sort of you know greek God and was going to sacrifice to him. The reality is Paul's mission journeys were always spirit-filled missionary journeys. They have he had to be a, a mission of the Holy Spirit. Paul was led to places. We going through the uh, Book of Philippians as a church, and um, Ollie said in the first of those sermons about how. Uh, Paul was led to the church in Philippi by the Holy Spirit, sort of closing this door and then, you know, signposting him to go to the right place. So we need to be a people of the Holy Spirit that do mission by empowered by the Holy Spirit, that pray for the sick and see them recovered, that uh, that believe for the miraculous, that you know, see people delivered from bondage and slavery. That's what we do. That is that is the local church. Paul also established leadership within local churches he didn't leave them uh, as just like a, a little group of uh, people sitting on their guitars again kumbaya my lord he, he established elders he laid foundations doctrinally he ensured in people like timothy titus silas that there were other people that could do that that could lay that doctrinal foundation um remember his encouragement to timothy you know, that everything that i poured into you're a man i have faith in do you remember the things i give you this charge timothy do you remember that uh, to lay those foundations in in churches lives uh, that paul had given to him so we don't we don't change the core truths of doctrine but we do change how we present those core truths how we um how we apply those core truths to a new generation in order to make the gospel effective paul says that himself doesn't he and to the jew i became a jew the gentleman gentle you know i become all things to all men to slay you know slave free 
any way, says Paul, I can get the gospel across, I will do. And that must be our uh, modus operandi as well. We must be people that are ready to meet people at their point of need, present them with the gospel uh, and help them in their journey of finding the great love of God in, in Jesus Christ. So, yeah, the rest of Acts was, you know, went on. And in the end, in the end, he ends up hmm, not quite where I thought he would be. He didn't part the church in Rome. He didn't think he'd be shipwrecked, maybe. Um, at least when he was younger, he didn't think he was going to go and be shipwrecked. When they started sailing, he knew he was going to be shipwrecked. But anyway, um, <laughs> he ended up imprisoned in Rome. Sometimes doing God's stuff, you don't end up where you think you're going to end up. Sometimes uh, things don't work out quite how you would imagine. But God has his way in it all. And with Paul, God had his way in it all. God, a lot of Paul's letters were written from prison. Uh, the, the book of Philippians is written from prison. God has his way in it all. He understands. Um, he, he gives to us an understanding eventually of why things sometimes don't work out and then see him break through in a way that's rather remarkable. So trust God, trust God in it all. Keep pressing on, just like the Apostle Paul in the book of Acts. Keep pressing on your daily lives. Keep pressing on one-to-one -one with people that you know who don't know Jesus. Keep pressing on with the gospel. Uh, your fabulous church. I hope you enjoyed our devotional series. Um, I'm on our last one, uh, Graham's on Monday, but uh, bless you all. Thank you for listening to me on Acts. Uh, and um, let's pray. Father God, thank you for Open Door Church. Thank you, Lord, that we are coming into a new season. Lots of changes, uh, good changes, that we may be more effective for you, that we want to be as effective for you as we can be. Lord God, we want to be pressing on into all the things that you have for us. Lord, we want to have our eyes open and our ears open so that we may see the uh, context that you have given to us and keep pressing on in them. Bless us, Lord, we pray. Bless us, put your hand upon us. Thank you for Open Door Church Sunbury. Lord God, may we see this church grow tremendously over the years ahead as men and women, boys and girls, bow the knee to Jesus the lover of their souls, the saviour of the world, and the one who has caught our hearts. In Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen.